Hey everybody, today we are going to uh, do a quick little project where we just do a restoration on the headlights of this Jetta. So I've actually done it one other time already about two years ago. Um, but I only just sanded and polished it. Today we have a kit that is supposed to provide a UV protection. So I think we'll still do the sanding and polishing. And then we do this. I, I just bought it off Amazon. I, I've never used it. I've never even looked at the directions. I don't know what it's... I don't know anything about it. So all I've done so far is wipe this one down here with a denatured alcohol. So it's a little, little bit clearer than that one. Uh, they both looked exactly the same before. Uh, it was just dirt. It was just, like, dirty. So uh, the first step we're going to do is tape all this... Um, around the edge of the paint because I don't want to accidentally sand any of that. Okay, so this is the kit. Uh, this was uh, like a $36 kit or something about that um, from Amazon. There were cheaper kits, but this one came with some extra stuff. It actually came with uh, this a large thing of the fluid. Some of them came with just like 100 milliliters or something like that. Like This is more than that. Grams, whatever that equals, but it also came with some sandpaper here, and I guess this is masking tape. That I don't know, I'll let it look at the instructions, but I'm not going to use this masking tape um, to mask off around it, I'll just use some blue tape. Um, so we'll do that real quick. This doesn't have to be like super precise, we're just like getting it in here so it doesn't. So we're not um, sanding the paint. I don't have to worry about any of that, obviously, because there's no paint, and also, I'm not going to go up this far. I'm just going to do the, the face of the light itself. Alright, that's it. So you can see even with the dirt off of this, it's still like super cloudy. I'm like hazy on it. Okay, so step one was clean the lamp with a cleaning cloth. Done. Mask the tape. Mask the tape around the lamp. That's what it says. To prevent damage to the paint during polishing. So that's what this is for. But we just use blue tape. So that's step two. Spray the water to keep lamp surface wet. Grind with abrasive paper, so that means sand it. In the following sequence, so it's 180 grit, 280, 360, 600, 800, 1200, and then dry the lamp. So that's where we're at right now. Um, we'll also give this a little sanding block, so maybe I'll use that. Start with 180. Um, full sheets next. Kind of nice. So what I'll do is I'll do this side um, first, the whole way through, and we'll compare um, you know, the right and left as a before and after. Let's see how good of a job it does. So just cut the, the full sheet into quarters, and it's just big enough to go on the uh, sanding pad like that. This is rubbing alcohol, I guess. Um, we just need like a lubricant on this to sand with. Let's see how well this does. 
Okay. <clears throat> I've already gone through my <laughs> my um, blue tape. Not a very good angle. Should probably be the other way around. Um, yeah, let's try this. So gritty. Feel like I'm destroying it. Okay, that's 180. Uh, I'm just going to work through the uh, the rest of them, and uh, we'll bring you back. I think once we're all, all through the grits. Okay, so that's through all the grits. So we got a like a nice even haze, which I guess is what it's supposed to look like. Um, the next step is to dry it. So that's to dry it, and then it's on to this thing, the air outlet of the atom atomizing cup is about one centimeter away from the lamp surface and moves and move moves smoothly from the edge turn the power turn off the power after the repair wait two minutes without repetition all right we'll see what that looks like uh, i guess i'll take this tape off i don't want anything to react with that tape this is what we have going on here no, not this there's the this like travel mug looking thing has this plug and we have this lid and it has a gasket and this lid and I put that gasket on already and then there's a straw and a funnel and a cigarette lighter adapter and then it has an AC one and by the way this little AC cord that's the thinnest cord I've ever seen for AC. So I don't know. I put this gas, you know, I put this gasket on there. That fits okay on there, nice and tight. But I guess that's it. Doesn't say anything. It doesn't show how to use this. Like that looks like it could be something. But what's this stuff for? What do I need to? Is this for putting it back in the container? What's this for? Is that for this thing? I don't know. I'm going to use this. Like this, I think. I just poured the solution into the travel mug thing. And it's blue. That was not what I was expecting. But I'm going to plug it in now. Okay. I plugged it in. Um, it has a light on it. There's no real indication that anything else is happening. There's no switch on it. So... I don't know. I'm not doing anything yet. All right, it's been about a minute. I can hear it doing something. Uh, I just don't see anything yet. But imagine it's just warming up. 
Oh. Jeez. Okay. Okay, so I was just sitting and I thought, maybe something's coming out of it. Well, it is. I just don't see it. Like, it's not something you see happening, I guess. I was expecting it to come out like a like a steam cleaner, but I guess that would be dangerous. Okay, there it is, like, looks really good, if you look close, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see, yeah, but you'll see like where I didn't get some of the bigger scratches out, a little deeper, I guess from 180, but if you look at it compared to this one, it looks way better. So I'm not going to redo this one now, I am going to do the other one, and I'll try to work at the, I guess, in-between grits a little more to get it more uniform. Look pretty good. Alright, so here's the other side done. That turned out pretty good too. And here's what it looks like out in the sun. A lot better than it did before. Alright, so for less than 40 bucks, and it was pretty easy to do. Uh, I definitely recommend this. Um, I'll put the link in the description. You don't have to buy it through that, but that's what I used. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. I noticed a couple little bugs living in the headlight. Or, um, well, dead in the headlight. What do you guys keep in your headlights? <laughs>